And the Wildcats have the basketball. Hagens gets by Kobe White, sends it with the pass in the corner. P.J. Washington misses the three. Nice job on the box out. Weak side by Kenny Williams for the rebound. His push ahead pass to May. Catches and finishes all in one motion for the bucket. Washington on the drive out to Reed Travis for three. That's good. He's taken just eight all season, but knocks that one in. Carolina quickly the other way. Down low to Brooks. Turnaround in the post is good. Garrison Brooks on the board. Travis one of two at the free throw line. Cam Johnson in the front court. Knifes in and lays it home. Well, inside pivot by Cam Johnson and then quickly to the basket. Five on the floor for Carolina is Woods, Williams, Johnson, May, and Manley. And it's Kenny Williams on the drive. Left of the lane. Hits the floaters. Nasir Little. To Manley, right back to the freshman Little. He'll kick it out to Black. Now to Kobe White with nine on the shot clock. White hard to the rim for the layup. And it's 26-20 Kentucky. Heels have White, Little, and Kenny Williams at the scores table. May trailing three is good from straight away. Second three, the heels have made. First for May, who now has seven. He'll push it top of the key to Cam Johnson. Back to the basket. Faces up, sends it to Kobe White. Stutter step, big step through two defenders and lays it home. What a nifty drive by the freshman. As after the first about eight minutes, Carolina's really struggled on the offensive side. Steal by Kobe White. He'll start the break. White behind the back dribble, stops at the key. Left side ends up in Nasir Little's hands and throws it down over Tyler Hero for the two-handed jam. Well, credit Leaky Black for starting that on the defensive end. 10-2 Kentucky run. They are now up 11, 40-29. May drives hard on the left, pulls up on the baseline and knocks it in. Johnson picks up his dribble, needs some help. Sends it out to Brooks, right back to Johnson. Quiet first half for Johnson. Quick trigger three. It's good from deep left wing. Got to get moving here. Inbounds to Cam Johnson. He'll drive hard from the left and bank it off the window. Little had a tough first half. Drives left of the lane. Picks up his dribble out to an open Luke May for three. Banks it in. I don't know if he meant to, but the Heels will take it. In front of Huffman, he couldn't contest it. It's a 10-point Kentucky lead as Cameron Johnson will try a three and knock it in from straight away. Just 7.45 to go. Kobe White drives baseline. Nice pass to Kenny Williams. Stripped, able to save it to Little. He'll kick it out to Kobe White. Three left wing, good. Just 4.35 to go. Brooks gets free down low, lays it in, and picks up the foul on Reed Travis. Stops on the left wing, looking for Kobe White. Can't find him, has to hand off to Brooks. Right back to Woods. Shot clock down to 15 as Woods drives baseline, goes up and under for two. Tariel's not fouling. Down 10 with just a minute to go. Kenny Williams gets a steal. He'll get the run out in the layup. And he is now four, nope, three of four over the free throw line as the second one rolls out. But it's a nine-point Kentucky lead. Just 40 seconds to go. Seventh Woods is fouled and hits the jumper on the right baseline. So the foul is on Keldon Johnson. He'll foul out. A huge win for Kentucky. They've been very frustrated with their start to the season. Blown out by Duke. Losing to Seton Hall on a neutral court. But the Wildcats come and get their biggest win of the season to date. Topping the Tar Heels 80-72 in Chicago.